Well, this poor little guy here needs some help. A friend of mine was cleaning out his storage unit, having an everything must go sale, and he sort of twisted my arm into taking this thing. Like, I don't know, I don't know. He's like, take it, it's free. I don't know, I don't know. Take it, it's free. I don't know. So, so the thing has a broken neck here. Must have taken a pretty nasty fall, so. I plugged it in, it works really, really nice, has a super smooth running motor, great spin down time, great bearings, super quiet, moves a ton of air, so I'm going to see if I can fix it. Got nothing to lose, so uh, let's see where this takes us, because um, I said, you know what, the hell with it, I'll take it, fine, after he twisted my arm. <laughs> That's pretty dirty. I don't think it was all that well taken care of, but... See if we can get it back to its former glory. Well, here we are about 36 hours later, and this is the 1200. As you can see, it's standing on its own, and it's all cleaned up. It works wonderfully. What I did was I filled the neck with JB Water Weld epoxy putty and uh, drilled some holes to get the wires in there and sanded everything flush. Works really nice now. Let's start it up. It's super quiet on low, but lacks nothing in airflow. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, Jordan didn't give me his uh, toilet paper airflow tester, so <laughs> I don't have anything to show how much air it moves. That's low. Go to high. Thing moves a ton of air on high. So thank you Duffy for the fan and also for the suggestion about using epoxy putty. Um, I didn't think it would work. I thought this thing was too far gone, but you were right. Um, it held up very nicely and very happy to have this fan and looking forward to using it this summer. So thank you.